this video is about the exterior angle theorem. Let's just look at some examples. The first thing that we're going to look at is just how we can figure out all of the angle measures inside of that triangle. So first of all, we know that 120 and this angle right here are going to equal 180. So we know that this angle is 60 degrees and we can call this angle UVT. That's how you name angles is you take what's on the end of this line that is connected to the vertex and then you, you do it in order U then V and then T and it just defines that angle. So UVT is 60 degrees. And we know that if that if we take 60 and 50 degrees, we get 110 degrees. So that means that TUV is going to be equal to 70 degrees. Now the other way to do this is to use the exterior angle theorem. And the exterior angle theorem says this, that the angle on the outside is equal to the two angles, the sum of the two angles opposite it on the inside. So if you take the sum of the two angles on the inside, it should equal the exterior angle. So if you take x plus 50, it should equal 120. And in this case, we already found that x was 70. So 70 plus 50, you'll see that it's equal to 120 degrees. So you can do lots of these examples every time. I mean, you don't really need the exterior angle theorem. You could figure out this angle and then use this angle and this angle to figure out this angle. But it just makes it a lot faster to take the angle on the outside and know that it's equal to the two angles on the interior. So the two angles opposite it. So for example, number three is really quick and fast. You just know that 70 plus 50 is 120. If you do the opposite way, it takes longer. You have to figure out what this angle is and then figure out what this, this angle is because of supplementary angles. So it's just, it's a faster way to do it. So this angle right here, if we take 25 and 80, we add those together, we get 105 degrees. And then let's go ahead and solve number two as well. So if we know this one on the outside is 115, and we know that 50 plus some value, the question mark, is equal to 115. Well, we can solve for x. And we get that x is equal to 65 degrees. And you can always check your work. You take 65, you add the 50, you're at 115. So this equals 115. And what remains it's 65. So if this is 65, does it also make sense that the 65 and the 115 make your straight angle of 180 degrees? And it does. Now we can make this a little bit more complicated. And we can use some variables. Let's go ahead and go down to, let's work on problem 11. So we can say that 18x plus 5 is equal to 46 plus negative 1 plus 8x. And let me move that over. That looks messy. Ran out of room. So I'll write a little bit smaller. 18x plus 5 is equal to 46 plus negative 1 plus 8x. So it's this angle plus this angle. Those are equal to the exterior angle. From here, we just combine like terms. So 46 and negative 1, we're left with 45. And now we're ready to move all the variables to one side. So I'm going to subtract 8x from each side. And we're left with 10x plus 5 on the left side is equal to 45. Then I am going to subtract 5 from each side and we get 10x equals 40, divide each side by 10, and we get x equals 4. And we can go ahead and plug that in and check our work. So let's go back up here. And we found x to be 4. So negative 1 plus 8 times 4. Well, 8 times 4 is 32. And 32 minus 1 is going to give us 31 degrees. 
and 31 degrees plus 46 degrees equals 77 degrees. So you add those two, you get 77. So if I multiply 18 times 4 and add 5, I should get the same amount. 18 times 4 is 72. And 72 plus 5 is equal to 77. So we did that correctly. Let's do another one of these examples. Let's try number 16. So 14x plus 1 is equal to 89 plus 5x minus 7. Combine like terms, 89 minus 7, we get 82. And that's equal to 14x plus 1. Then we subtract 1 from each side to get all the constants on the right side, and we get 81 plus 5x is equal to 14x. Then I'm going to subtract 5x from each side, and we get 81 is equal to 9x. Divide each side by 9, and we get x is equal to 9. And once again, you could plug that back in to check your work. So for the EOG, what you need to remember is that the exterior angle is equal to the two angles, the two interior angles opposite it.